Recently find out the value of cosine of 22 and half degree. Now let's try to find out the value of sine 22 and half degree. So to find the value of sine 22 and half degree, exactly the same process we need to follow that we followed here. Uh, we need to break uh, the cos A into the half angle formula. And when it was in cosine format, we find out the cosine 22 and half. When it is in the sine format, we'll find out the sine uh, 20, uh, 22 and half degree formula. All right. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, 1 minus 2 sine square A by 2 is the formula of cosine of A. So from here, what we can what we can say that 1 minus cos A is equals to 2 sine square A by 2. So uh, what you can say that 1 minus cosine of A divided by 2 is equals to sine square A by 2. And... 1 minus cos a by 2 inside the root is sine a by 2. My dear friend, what happens if a is equals to 45 degree? If a is equals to 45 degree, I'll get 1 minus cosine of 45 degree divided by 2 equals to sine 45 degree divided by 2, which is also sine 22 and a half. All right. So it's simply 1 minus and cosine of 45 degree, that's 1 over root 2, divided by 2, all right? And further, that's sine 22 and half degree. That's uh, simply from here I'm writing root 2 will multiply, so it will be root 2 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2, okay? And these all are inside the root, so that's, that's the value of sine 22 and half degree. Again, here you need to understand that 20, uh, sine 22 and half degree is always positive because in the first quadrant, all the trigonometric ratios value is uh, positive, all right?